Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale from PaulGaleNetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game News. It is May 25th, 2021 and these are the top stories of the day. To kick things off, I'm wearing my Sega t-shirt because we've got some Sega news back-to-back -back announcements. First from Sonic the Hedgehog on Twitter. Did someone say news? Tune in at 9 a.m. Pacific Time on May 27th for a first look at some of the projects, partnerships, and events for our Sonic 30th celebration. That's two more days from now. That's really cool. This Thursday morning, expect me to cover whatever announcements Sega happens to share from Sonic Central. And you can see here, they've got a little image celebrating the 30th anniversary. Will we see some old games brought back? Some titles that have been lost in time, that have been rumored to be coming out as a remake or a port? Possibly. Could we see some partnerships some collaborations with some shoe company or fast food chain toy manufacturer could be could we get a brand new title or a full-on remake of something i'm hoping for at least a one new game would be really cool that's what i'm most looking forward to a brand new whether it's 3d or 2d or a hybrid of the two sonic the hedgehog title would be really cool possibly sonic adventure 3 just have it done right, you know? I'm hoping for the best. Maybe a little tease of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 film? That could be a possibility. We'll see. It'll be covered regardless in that day's video game news segment, but if there's anything in particular that's extra awesome, I will have a designated reaction video to it. Moving on in Sega news, we got this video trailer today, courtesy of IGN. Thank you, IGN. It's a one minute, 10 second look at a game from the past that is coming back. Virtual Fighter footage. You might already recognize it. Virtual Fighter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The trailblazing 3D Fighter returns. Now, Virtual Fighter 5 isn't a new game in the truest sense. It came out in arcades in 2006. Then it came to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in 2007. They had a final showdown version that hit arcades in 2010, and then that version came out on Xbox 360 and PS3 in 2012. This is, you know, an enhanced port of that game. Getting all of the fighters, some improved visuals. And it drops, as you can see right there, June 1st, 2021, on PlayStation 4. Of course, you'll also be able to play it on your PlayStation 5. But June 1st is coming up soon. You know, it was at the Tokyo Game Show last year that we had that tease of Virtua Fighter crossing over into eSports. Was it an official tease, possibly, of Virtua Fighter 6? Will we see a Virtua Fighter 6? Is Sega testing the waters by getting people back into the series with this game? Um, I would think that they would want Virtua Fighter 5, especially since it's capable of running on everything, to be on as many platforms as possible. Release it on PlayStation 4 and 5, on Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One, and on Nintendo Switch. You know, get it in as many people's homes as possible to bring in some new excitement into Virtual Fighter and then, you know, release 6 in a couple of years when it's ready. Showing that dramatic difference, you know, in what we got with 5 and even this 5 semi uh, remake upgraded port and, you know, the eventual 6. But it looks like it's coming out on PS4 for now. So that's cool. It's still going to be a fun time revisiting this franchise. See how it does in the modern landscape of know Tekken 3D fighters and so forth that are alive but let me know what you think so far of Sega's announcements whether it was Sonic the Hedgehog what do you want to see out of that and Virtua Fighter are you excited for 5's new port moving on looks like May 27 is going to be a pretty big day because we got Dragon Quest's 35th anniversary on that day there will be a special live stream occurring at 5 30 a.m. central time May 27th is Dragon Quest Day, 
And to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the series, we're bringing you a special broadcast to showcase all the latest information about what's going on and what's yet to come in the world of Dragon Quest. For the first time in Dragon Quest history, the show will feature a live English interpretation from Japanese so that our international fans can stay up to date with developments in the Dragon Quest series too. Don't miss it or you'll miss out. Live stream start time subject to change. Thirty-four hours away. I'm pretty excited. Will we see Dragon Quest Twelve revealed here? Will we see a port, a remake, some enhanced version of an older Dragon Quest title? You know, brought forth to PS5 and Xbox Series X and Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm hoping for Twelve. That would be great to see Twelve take advantage of new hardware. But I'd also be okay and happy with a port or two of a classic title getting a full-on remake. Or even just enhanced visuals from like a 16-bit era style game, but, you know, made modern. We'll see. Could you imagine an old-school Dragon Quest games game brought out in the Octopath Traveler engine? That would be pretty sweet, too. Kind of like Prying, Priangle, Project Triangle strategy. Uh, an old Dragon Quest game taking advantage of that system's look would be pretty cool. And finally today, some other big news moving over into designated PlayStation territory. Gorilla announced the following. May 27th, like I said, it's big, right? We're getting Horizon Forbidden West footage, a deep dive. We are so excited to show you more of Horizon Forbidden West. This Thursday, May 27, join us on a very special journey into new and uncharted lands. It looks like the game is going to make its 2021 release, and I've got some goosebumps because this was a big deal for PlayStation 4 in 2017. You know, it was Horizon, the new IP, that was this kind of open world experience game with this awesome female archer going up against Link in one of the most ambitious Legend of Zelda titles ever as the debut game for the Nintendo Switch and of course on Wii U as well and you couldn't help but draw some parallels between the games uh, and it looks like going forward it looks like at least from Horizon Forbidden West's new trailer well first trailer from a few months back it draws some inspiration from the Breath of the Wild trailer uh, so you know, very different games, of course, and they deserve to be treated independently, but you can't help but draw some comparisons, right? I'm excited. It would be crazy if this game ends up landing this November for the jam-packed, high-profile holiday season, and Nintendo also releases the successor to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that same month, perhaps alongside the Nintendo Switch Plus, could you imagine this rivalry is going to continue? Oof, that's exciting. Even if Zelda doesn't come, if Zelda doesn't come, I think it's going to help Horizon shine a little bit better because not that it can't hold its weight on its own against Zelda, but you know, with Zelda being the bigger series, with Breath of the Wild being the better selling game, with the possibility of a new Nintendo Switch model coming out alongside it. With the fact that we're in the 35th anniversary of the Legend of Zelda franchise, it would gain more attention. It would be the bigger draw overall than Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West, I'm confident that it's going to be a fantastic game. And like I said, it would handle itself against Zelda. But if Zelda is you know, a February or a March release of 2022, what's the other big third-person perspective, open-world, adventure, fantasy kind of game that's going to compete with this. Not really anything this significant for this holiday season, at least not yet that we know of. So it would almost help both games out if they were released a little bit farther apart so they could both be enjoyed by the masses and not people deciding, oh, which one should I buy because my money's limited and so forth. But we're, you know, it's, it's going to be exciting regardless. I can't wait. We got Sonic news, we got Dragon Quest news, and we got 
Horizon Forbidden West news all happening this Thursday. It's going to be a big day. That's also my Famitsu sales charts day, so I'm pretty stoked for that. All right, that's going to do today for Video Game News with Polygal Network. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought. Are you stoked for the Dragon Quest announcements? Are you happy for Horizon Forbidden West and its new footage that we're going to see? Oh, man. Virtual Fighter Sonic. Let me know what you thought about today's topics. All right. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.